Set up your general purpose sensors quick and easy. Your newly purchased general purpose sensors have the versatility of connecting to commercial sensors with a simple setup. In this video, we'll tell you how to create them from the Digivive MX software. First, we need to go to the Phantom tab, where you can find the Add GPO sensor icon. This will open a simple setup wizard like the one you can see on the screen. This is where you will create your sensor. In this assistant, you can select from 4 to 20 million pairs or 0 to 5 volt sensors. These selections should correspond to the sensor we are configuring, however, it is identical for both cases. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will use a 420 million pair sensor. First, indicate the type of sensor you will connect. You can select one from the list or create a completely new one by typing the name in the box. Give your sensor a name to easily identify it later. Then indicate the unit that your sensor measures. You can select some of the previously loaded units in the Digivibe software. However, due to the versatility of the sensor, the unit may not be on the list. If that were the case, you can create the unit to measure by clicking the Add button, which will open a new section. Here, we can indicate the name of the unit, the parameter it measures, and a small description that will be visible in the sensor options. Click on Add Unit to finish and now you can find it listed in the default units of Digivive. This setting is permanent. Select your unit and modify the values on the right side. These values indicate the meaning of each signal translated to the parameter you are measuring. You can find a conversion table in the operator's manual for your sensor. Otherwise, contact your developer. Once the two values are established, click Calculate to find the calibration value. These values are internal and should not be modified. In the lower calculator, you can do a conversion test, just assigning a signal value and calculating the results with the Calculate button. Click on the Add button to complete the creation. Now that we have created our sensor, we can assign it to a machine or a point. To do this, assign the sensor using the steps you are ready now and select the GPIO that corresponds to your configuration. As you can see, we can find the name that we created previously for the configuration. Click on it to select it and finish your installation by clicking OK. We hope this information has been useful to you. For more details about our products and software, please visit the Airbus Instruments website.